So previously, we have already solved the uh, homogeneous case for this differential equation. So now we go on to the particular integral. So we want a trial function that's going to work with this right-hand side, with this f of x. Now, because this is quadratic, it makes sense to choose a quadratic trial function. So we're going to choose y to be equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So we want this trial function to have the same order or degree as the polynomial on the right-hand side. Now, in order to substitute it in, I'm going to have to find dy by dx and d2y by dx squared. So dy by dx would be equal to 2ax plus b. And the second derivative would be equal to 2a. So we're going to substitute it in. So we get 2a take away 5 lots of dy by dx. So take away 5 lots of 2ax plus b, plus 6 lots of y, so plus 6 lots of ax squared plus bx plus c. And this has got to be equal to 6x squared, take away 10x plus 14. OK, so I'm going to expand out the numerator. 2a take away 10ax take away 5b plus 6ax squared plus 6bx plus 6c is equal to our 6x squared take away 10x plus 14. Okay, so we've got the 6ax squared. Now, the x's we have uh, minus 10a, and we've got the 6b, lots of x, and then we've got the 2a, we've got the take away 5b, and we've got the plus 6c. And that's got to be equal to the 6x squared to take away 10x plus 14. Right, so comparing coefficients then, we've got the 6a, the coefficient of x squared here has got to be the same as the coefficient of x squared there. So 6a equals 6. So that implies that a is equal to 1. Right, substituting a is 1 into this, we're going to get minus 10 lots of 1 plus 6b. And that's got to be equal to the coefficient of x on the right hand side, which is minus 10. So add 10 to both sides, leaves us with 6b must be 0, and so b must be 0. So now we've got a, and we've got b, we can substitute it into this one. So we get 2 lots of a, which is 2, take away 5 lots of b, plus 6 lots of c. And that's got to be equal to the 14 on the right hand side. So 6c must be 2. So 12, rather. 6c must be 12. And so c would have to be 2. So the trial function uh, will be of the form y equals x squared plus 2. And so that forms our particular integral. And we add it on to our general solution. And this is the general solution to my differential equation.